Hey peeps, Game of Drive here. Welcome back to Satisfactory, where we've got a lot to do today. I want to try and see how far we can get in making this lot of stuff so uh, we can move on. So we need the electromagnetic control rods, which take the stators and AI. That's fine, that's fairly easy to build. Um, we need the cooling systems, which take the heat sinks plastic, water and nitrogen uh, and that is okay we've got most of that I have built the heat sinks during the, uh, the break between the episodes uh, the fuse modular framework we're good on we've already taken care of that and then the turbo motors which are going to require the cooling system uh, the radio control units motors and rubber. Uh, again we're mostly okay once we've got this lot done. So it's just a process uh, and we'll get that done. Now in between the last couple of episodes I have finished our double tracking. Let's see if I can show you from up here. So uh, we've already seen the spiral that goes down and then we've got two tracks that cross this pit and then you can just about see there we've got some crossroads there uh, and basically the bit that goes off to the iron and the steel is the state same as it was before it's single tracked and the copper is still single tracked i've built a spiral that goes up there and takes it off uh, so when when they return they all come down the the right hand side and I've I've gone for right hand side drive because the signaling works better that way they don't overlap here we go we can see the uh, trains out the copper train going now so the copper train will make its way down and off now it is a little bit slow coming up here it uh, comes down to about 56 is it kilometers an hour I can't remember what the speed is measured in 56 an hour anyway and there we go in fact we can see these two passing uh, just at the bottom here and that's going to mean we can well what it really means is we can have two or more copper trains on the copper track and two or more trains running on the steel track um, we'll get that done now I've left this in for now just in case things went wrong and I needed to reverse it uh, but it is disconnected currently uh, but should things start going pear-shaped uh, I can reconnect okay let's head over to the factory and we'll have a look what I've done up there okay so we've got our nitrogen bottles coming in from the plant uh, they are uh, it's not really viewable from up here they are coming into this unpackager uh, but it would be easy enough to add more unpackages if we need them. Uh, they are unpackaged into a pipe and the empty canisters are returned to be refilled. There's no more production of these, that, that is what we've got. Uh, so we've got nitrogen gas up here. We have uh, our framework why have we got that oh that's for the fused framework that's coming up and our rubber is coming up currently they're both being used to produce our fused framework i have also brought up water from below if you remember there is a, uh, a river a lake below the factory and i've just put a at the moment a single pump in there uh, a lot of sorry water extractor and then a, a long pipe coming up with lots of pumps on it to get the water flow up here so we've got maximum water flow there and i have also uh, if i can get down here brought up i think everything we're going to need for our next builds so we've got our copper sheeting coming up we have alclad sheets coming up ai limiters stators crystal oscillators and computers which i think is the entirety of what we need to be able to produce everything 
and like I said I've already built the beginnings of the heatsink uh, it's just an assembly it's an assembler and we've got copper sheeting and alclad sheets coming in and heat sinks coming out so that is where we are oh, I've disconnected this why did I disconnect this when did I disconnect this it must have when I was tidying up so uh, let's reconnect that before we forget can't afford okay I need to go and get some more resources so once I've done that we will continue and we will start by building the electromagnetic control rods uh, one moment while I go and load up with resources okay resources gotten I remembered what happened here uh, I did have on this factory floor everything running through pylons originally which is where this was powered from uh, but when I did a bit of a tidy up I put our roof in uh, and I didn't connect this up so let's do that now that reconnects that and that's good to go okay so the electro magnetic control rod is built in an assembler let's get that done first of all because I think that's needed later on what am I missing rotors ah a moment Okay, and I think I missed. I want to centre that a little bit. Let's try that again. Uh, oh no, I was right. Oh, why is the hitbox? Uh, I'm going to keep the hitbox in that edge. Okay, so let's go back to as always. We need to run down. A conveyor line as far as possible so we can easily expand later on and our mark 4 belts seems we're using that pretty much exclusively across the factory I think everything except for the screws oh come on come on there we go Okay, so this is going to be, there they are, the electro control rods. We need the stators and the AI limiters. Okay, let's see if we can put this in first. Stators. And... Where's the center? AI limiters. Something like that. Okay, so the stators are all down here. So, how many more rows do we need of this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's not going to be enough. They're going to have to come all the way down here. Okay, one, two, three, four. So I'll just get those connected. Okay, and of course, I'm better off using the hover pack here rather than the uh, rather than what I was using the jet pack. Okay, so uh, stators, AI limiters. Triple check. It's a pain in the butt when you stators and AI limiters when you uh, feed up the wrong stuff. So where's our line? Here we go. So, splitter. There is our AI limiters. And there are our stators. Perfect. Now we just need to bring them down. One to there. One to there. Missed. Stators. Bring it out a bit and then up. Perfect. And power. 
Hey Game of Drag, don't forget to remind your viewers to like and subscribe if they are enjoying the content. Okay. And again, I'm not sure if we're, what we're doing with those, so for now we're just going to store them in a storage container. Like so. Uh, sort of make it neat. In fact, there they go. Already what we'll do is not do that. Don't know why I did that. We'll put a merger in. Just like the rest of the factory. And at least make it look a little bit neat. Okay, that's that for now. That's going to produce us for a minute. Uh, did they not go in there previously? Where did they go? Got some at a hand craft some earlier for, can't remember why now. Okay, so that's that's the electronic electromagnetic control rods. Now we need the cooling system. So this is a blender. Oh, this is going to take the water and nitrogen gas. Okay. So blender. Let's give ourselves a bit of room here. I can't quite see if that's on the edge there. It is. Okay, so this is going to need the heat sinks that we're producing and rubber. So the heat sinks are coming out to this line here, but at the moment aren't coming as far as we need. Easily fixed. Don't tell me I've run out of material I have. Oh man, okay. Uh, I'll go get that in a second. Water is going to be easy enough to get down here. Oop, run out of power, but that's okay. We'll just bring the water out along the factory like so. Okay. I can't quite see which is in line. I'm going to bring it to there. Uh, it's going to have to come all the way down here. I'll get rid of that present in a second. And a bit further. So we're going to come to here. Okay, so that's the water. And we should be good with that. We should have 300. Um, current mounting pipe. 15. To have a look at that. That should be more, I think. Uh, and then the nitrogen. Now the nitrogen is going to be a little trickier, um, and in fact is going to be a little bit messy. Let's see, maybe we can bring it up here. Take it along here. Can't afford. Okay. Let me go and get more stuff. Okay, so we got the nitrogen and the water coming in. And I have rooted 
the rubber and the heat sinks. We just need to connect them up. It's a little bit messy, the, uh, the liquids. Can I make it? Basically, I've got the pipes coming down and I'm just going to hop one over the other. It probably makes sense to stack those, but for now, uh, we'll experiment this way. And that's it. That's the blender done. All we need to do is pop in some power. And hopefully we will have... Let's come out a bit, that big machine sees. Okay. Hopefully that will give us six cooling systems per minute. Which we are going to need for... Uh, and the next process. So we're going to need to bring this out to our manufactured line, which is this one here. No, I'm out of concrete now. My goodness me, we're going through stuff. Right, hang on one moment. Okay, so we've got this done, but we can see that the nitrogen gas is struggling somewhat. So, uh, what we're going to need to do there is build a second nitrogen unpackager and probably upgrade this pipe to a Mark III, a Mark II pipe. So, I haven't done this yet with this, but it should be as straightforward as everything else we've done in terms of... Um, it all follows a pattern, so we, we should be good. Uh, why doesn't that go in there? Interesting. What's going on there? I feel this is the wrong way around. That's what's going on there. Ah, oh, come on. Right. Let's try that again. Thankfully it'll fit. Okay, so this is also going to be unpackaging nitrogen gas. And how was that up? Okay, so I'm going to let's have a look what's this producing now. 240 a minute. Uh, and how much does the Mark three two pipes? 300. Okay, we are definitely going to have to increase this pipe work. But that's not too much of a problem. Especially with our jetpack, which is just about coping. one's that one, the bottom one. Let's see, does that help? Okay, that looks better. It may not be perfect, but it's certainly better. It might be... Let's have a look what happens when this hits 100. Okay. As long as this catches up before that gets to 100, we're good. Which it has. Right, okay. So that's fine. It may be more sensible to have a unpackager for every one of these machines. But since we're not going on a massive scale yet, we're just getting progression. I think we're okay. Okay, so the final thing then was the turbo motors, because we've already got the fused framework. Nope, that's not how you spell turbo. Turbo motors. Uh, so that's all going to be in a manufacturer. And that we should all be good for. Hang on a sec, what am I making here? 
Oh yeah. Right, so uh manufacturer. Uh let's give ourselves a bit of room here. Let's just make sure we get everything in line. I'm gonna go to there. And this is gonna take four items. Missed one, two, three, four. Let's get rid of that one. Let's so put all the belts in. One, two, three, and four. And nope. What have I done here? I've built too many. Right, okay, so that's good. Don't need that. And this is going to be our turbo motor. So we need cooling systems and radio control units. Uh, cooling systems. Are down here. Am I not out putting those? What am I doing with those? Uh, that's this lot here. Nope. My goodness, what am I doing? This this is the cooling system, right? We are doing it. Right, so we need to get this going a bit further down. How far down will this go before it cuts off? There, that's a rather inconvenient place, but... And on Mark 5, Mark 4 belt. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Right, this is all going to be a bit of a squeeze here. But, fine, we'll take a splitter. Okay, so take those in at the bottom. Uh, radio control units are radio control units. Have I not brought those up? Okay. I may not have brought those up. Fine, I will go and get those from wherever they're being manufactured. I thought I brought everything up. Okay, well obviously I missed those. Motors and rubbers, you know what? Why have I brought computers up? It's because we're not making radio control units yet. That's right, we're not making radio control units, so that's why I brought those up. Right. So that's what we need to do. We need to make radio control units, not those. 
So let's get rid of that for a second. Uh, and put those in instead. Which is made in a... Oh, that's also made in a manufacturer. Oh my goodness, are we going to have enough room to make all of this up there? Okay. So you're going to be radio control units. Aluminium casing, crystal oscillators and computers. Okay, well there's the aluminium casing. Aluminium casing. Crystal oscillators. And computers. This is taking all the thinking power. I hope there's no clipping going on there. Okay. Perfect. So now these can feed into here. From a splitter. Hey, our. The aluminium casing seems to be going a bit slow. Forty a minute. Ah, uh, should be all right once it's done the first lot. We'll check. And then the radio control units will come out. And all we need to do now is fit one more manufacturer onto this floor. So that's going to come out. Uh, OK, we're going to have to diverge it a little bit and come onto this line here. Oh, oh. Okay, so I will get that wired up, as long as we see some come out, we should be good, and then we'll be able to do our final manufacturer, final manufacturer for this floor, uh, and bring out plastic as well here, and get the final bits. In. What on earth are those for? I'm bringing something up. Oh, I'm bringing something up which I've forgotten about. What's this? 
It is the radio control unit. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. Okay, I'm an idiot. We knew that though, didn't we? Uh, why is that not going that way? That's because it's not configured. Right, any, left, overflow, nothing centered. So why aren't we going right? It is now. Right, let me go get that wired in and I'm done. What I've just done. Oh boy, what a mess. Okay, hang on. Okay, folks, well, that's done. I've fixed that mess. Uh, I've also just had to fix some nitrogen. I forgot to put a, uh, an output on there, so the um, uh, that unpackager had stopped working because it filled up with empty bottles. Uh, so now we have gas again. Not a huge amount, but some. I've built a second nitrogen, sorry, second cooling system because these produce six a minute. And this here, which is our turbo motors, require seven and a half a minute. Uh, so that's going to take a little bit of time to get up and running because it needs to fill up this belt first. But we should see, oh, we have got some already coming out, some radio control units. I must have put that in there accidentally. We're not making radio... Oh yes we were. <laughs> I changed this to make radio control units and then switched it around to cooling systems. Uh, right, yeah, okay, so that makes sense. So, we're going to leave it there, and when we come back we should have enough to progress to the final stage of this uh, phase, and then we can just finally concentrate on making those things in the top right hand corner and uh, get our progression done. Are we not making any of those? Uh, hang on, I need to change over to my the one. What are we making up here? This must be making something. I've totally lost track of what's going on and what we're doing. Oh, that's the assembly director system. So yeah, okay, well, we, we've finished making those. Uh, so the next thing to be making is, I think they're called field generators. But that's something we'll worry about in the next episode. Until then, folks, if you've enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It does help me out. And we'll see you next time in Satisfactory, where we're coming very close to our endgame. Take care now. Bye-bye.